Welcome back to Mountain Connections. I'm here with Jim Bisley from Park City Rental Properties. He is going to showcase all of the great properties they have available right now, not only in Park City, but also Sedona. Always excited to see the beauty and style that they offer to people that are coming here for a staycation or a vacation from far away. So thanks, Jim, for being here. Thank you. How Good are to you? See you? I'm doing great. Good to How see are you? you? Doing great. I'm honored to be able to do this interview. So thank oh. you. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm honored to be here with you. <laughs> so it's snowing. It is. Not literally exactly snowing on my way in. Predicted this morning. But yeah. Hey, that's how we roll here in Park City. You have a snow forecast for us. I do. I mean, and, you know, and we've been looking at it for the last 20 plus years. We uh, work with a lot of the experts in town and stuff. So here's what it is. It's 360 inches of snow this year. It's going to be a little bigger than last year. And uh, we're going to have 12 days that are 12 plus inches of snow. And there's a lot of factors that are going into that. But snow usually travels in cycles, in three to five year cycles. We had a great year last year. Should have another great year this year. All the little critters are already burrowed away. Uh, it is cold outside. It's been cold for a long time. We missed our entire fall season. Sadly, yes. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sadly for sure, because I really love mountain biking. And here mm -hmm. we're, I'm like, wow, where did our fall go? And, <laughs> and so now that we're into October and it's below 30 degrees and snowing, um, I just think it's going to keep rolling with that. Um, the Pacific water temperatures are warm. That generates a lot of storms. There's, um, you know, the weather, a lot of the weather forecasters here locally are saying, yeah, this looks really good. Farmer's Almanac says it's going to be a cold, long winter, whether we like it or not. So <laughs> this should be a great ski year. It's going to be well above average. So that's my prediction, 360 inches of snow. Well, that's very exciting for people who are coming here to ski. Yeah. Are you seeing an uptick in reservations we now are. that this is out? Yeah, we always have better years. When one first one we have a year that's always been good snow, there's a little bit more predictability. Now we're here at this next year where it's cold. It's already snowed three or four times, I think. So we have snow in the mountains right now, and that gets people excited about skiing and coming out. So yeah, book early because uh, it's starting to fill up. Absolutely. So with that said, we're thinking about great ski season the holidays are right around the corner mm -hmm. so if you haven't already planned that trip it's time to do it now definitely yeah christmas and new year's for sure if people haven't done that and even thanksgiving's pretty full so yeah. this is kind of exciting this year plus vale makes a lot of snow as well mm -hmm. here at park city mountain resort and so does deer valley so they are always open for thanksgiving usually 50 percent with at least three feet of snow Exciting, right around the corner. I'm yeah. ready for it. So let's check out some beautiful properties sure. you have available right here in Park City. We've sure. got first one queued up. Let's take a look. Yeah, the La, and we're both trying to decide how you say the name of this, but it's <laughs> La Macari. I think it's French, oui? <laughs> oui. Four bedroom, four and a half bath, 3,200 square foot, completely remodeled ski in, ski out home at the base of Deer Valley. This is right off of Success Run. So Success Run takes you right to the base of, um, of Deer Valley so you can get your kids to ski school. You can actually push them right out the back door on the green run and they are right there at the base. Sleeps 14, completely renovated and tricked out. We're extremely excited to have one of these. We've never had one of these in our inventory. And you can see that it's right on the ski run. It's right there at the base. You've got the the the, uh, the uh, St. Regis. You're staring right back at the St. Regis from your windows too. Just a spectacular property. They really did a great yeah. job of maximizing the views and then bringing those elements of nature into the home. Really, really well done. Extremely well done. So that one's super exciting and and you know great bunk room, three master suites. It's fantastic. Yeah, that looks like a great place to stay. But there's more. Let's there look is. at Empire Escape. Yeah. So Empire Escape is on 11th. Uh, 11th and, and Empire Avenue. It's in Old Town. This is a five bedroom, five and a half bath, nearly 4,000 square foot home. The owners did exactly what we said and, and it is amazing. It is a mountain contemporary design. It can sleep up to 19 people. Three master bedroom suites that are all uh, in suite with bath two bunk rooms, you've got a game room, you've got the hot tub out back, and it's literally about two blocks from the base of Park City Mountain Resort. So, and then you're another two blocks to get over to Main Street. So it's really an ideal location on Empire Avenue in Old Town. 
And 19 people, perfect for your big family reunion. For sure, <laughs> right. Three whole families can stay there, plus you got a boys and a girls bunk room, so it's great. And very convenient to Park mm. City, yeah. and they really utilize the natural light in that property. Yeah, it's a really pretty one. I, I love, our, all of our new owners are doing such amazing things with the properties that not only do they make it a great rental, but they're also extremely, you know, luxury and super cozy, and you get a lot of repeat customers that way might spend more time in the home than out on the slopes. Yeah, yeah, most people do too, you know, it's it's a great place to stay. So, Absolutely. Yeah. All right, you have another Park City property, but in a whole different part of town, if you Indeed. want a different vibe, a different feel, but mm -hmm. still close to the slopes, we have the New Park property. Yeah, New Park is right there in Redstone. It's an amazing, also an amazing, it's called the New Park Terrace. It's three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1,500 square feet. This is a new build, so this is right in the heart of the action of Redstone. So you've got at least 20 restaurants around there. I actually go to most of the restaurants and the shops and things in Redstone more than I come down to Old Town. Easy parking, um, also easy just to catch the, the free bus right to the base of the canyons private hot tub. This community um, is really cool. Brand spank and new, and that one sleeps about nine guests as well. And over in Newport, you're right, you can walk to so many restaurants, movie theater, just a lot of activity always going on in that part of town. I go there more than Old Town as well. It's I do too. It's a really too. fun place to be. I do too, actually, you know, because we go to Giadotti's a lot. We'll, you know, we'll go to Maxwell's obviously a lot. There's some, you know, uh, Cortona, the little Italian cafe, if you haven't been there, is incredible. Mm -hmm. Very, very hard to get into, but man, is it amazing. So great restaurants and a lot of fun stuff to do over there too. And just a short, quick bus ride to the slopes. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're all in love with Park City, obviously, but you also have some beautiful properties in Sedona. We do. We do. Sedona's a neat place. It is Moab in the mountains. Great restaurants, a bunch of wineries. It has some of the best mountain biking and hiking trails in the world. Um, it's a very mystical place. It has um, seven different vortexes, which have magnetic healing energy from the earth. So a lot of natural yoga retreats, this sort of thing, music festivals. Also about a, maybe an hour from the Grand Canyon, so it's actually kind of a cool location in Arizona. So, But yeah, we have a lot of great properties, about 40 now in Sedona, and uh, it's, it's really kind of a neat mix for our Park City owners and guests to go to Sedona. It's, it's, it's really kind of a neat place to go. So. And as we're heading into the winter, what is the climate in Sedona? Right now it's about 70 degrees. It's beautiful. Yeah, I was just looking. They had a huge yoga retreat thing this weekend, uh, yoga festival. They have food festivals, wine festivals, um, all those kind of things like that. So it's beautiful. Absolutely. It's about 4,500 feet in elevation. It's set in all of these incredible red rocks and then mixed with all the pines and the junipers and everything so it's it's a really really cool location if anybody hasn't tried it uh, we have sedona.org and then we have i love sedona.com those are our websites down there so really beautiful mm -hmm. year round any it time is. of year it is it's really cool it's 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 pretty awesome uh, we usually get about 200 to 220 visitor nights every year so summer to winter fall and spring is really amazing across the board well, let's take a look at some of these properties. Sure. Cassie Essex is up first. Yeah, and this oh, is wow. a beautiful house, and you can see it, it. You can see the red rocks. It's unbelievable. This is a great house. This is a four-bedroom, two-bathroom, 2,100 square foot house. It's right by uh, what they call Thunder Mountain, which is this big, huge mountain range where you can hike and bike. It sleeps 12 guests. Big, big backyard, private hot tub, and everything. Very, very private in general. So this is kind of like this serenity kind of feel where you can sit around and have coffee on your decks and there's a lot of great wildlife there as well so beautiful fire pit um, really cool place they did a nice job with that one looks like a nice private sanctuary but yet within this vibrant community absolutely yeah it's really cool just absolutely beautiful all right up next we have the Sedona Dream Estate yeah this one's really cool completely renovated top to bottom this is a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom home in a beautiful, you know, uh, what we call Sedona contemporary design. Has four master bedroom suites, and then it also has an incredible bunk room, and it has been tricked out from top to bottom. The front yard and the backyard, you can kind of see it has bocce ball, it has putting greens, it has the private hot tub overlooking all of the mountains. It has 
yoga areas. It, pretty much we try to build everything possible in this property and it's been very well received and that's in uptown Sedona so an easy walk to everything. Very stylish, very white, very bright and yeah. very fun. Yeah, it is. It's a cool place. Yeah. All right, speaking of fun, yeah. the next one is a golf and spa retreat. What more could you want? Right yeah, now? yeah. So this is in uh, the village of Oak Creek and this is kind of cool because it can be a two bedroom or a three bedroom, three bathroom. Absolutely love this owner. She did exactly what we told her to do to maximize the rental income. It has two grand master suites with two big bathrooms, built a third um, bedroom that has a couple uh, king beds plus a pullout. Um, it sits right on the some of the, the uh, practice tees right there at the golf course so you have fountains in the backyard and you have the jacuzzi and so super super cool. It's a great location and can sleep about nine, nine to twelve guests too. I love the use of color. Yeah. She does, you know, she's a designer and she's a great real estate agent, so one of my favorites. And she did a great job, really, really understands how to decorate and design and stuff, and, and it came out fantastic. And really matched that natural area as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's really cool. And then you're overlooking the golf course, lots of, lots of different shops and restaurants and things in that area as well. Well, just spectacular properties. All right, we want to rent all of them. So where do we go to find you, your properties? Sure, you can go to parkcityvacationrentals.com and we have also kind of branded our communities. So we have ilovepartcity.com, Sedona, you can go to sedona.org or you can also go to ilovesedona.com as well. So those are really kind of cool. A um, couple other like little things that we've been trying to do lately is we um, we've kind of a lot of owners are saying I want the best experience for guests. I want the most luxury experience. So we actually started a mattress company, oh, and yeah. uh, it's called uh, TribeLiving.com. And these are our mattresses. They're extremely comfortable. And you know, the, you think about it. It's the, the when you go on vacation, a third of your vacation is actually spent in bed. You need to have a comfortable night's sleep. If you're skiing, you're hiking, and this sort of thing, you're tired, you want to lay down and you want to sleep. So these are incredible mattresses, and we're putting them in all of our homes now, and we feel really strongly that like, if you want to have a great vacation, start with a great night's sleep, and you wake up refreshed, and you're ready to go. So tribeliving.com is the website for that. So true. If yeah. you have a beautiful property and a horrible bed and a horrible night's sleep, it's not going to be a good vacation. Oh yeah, it's pretty much wrecks your entire vacation, right? <laughs> it really so, does. in um, I guess the only other thing I was thinking was um, Delta has come up with a program here in Park City too that's uh, new for this season. They're giving $300 flight vouchers to anybody who's a first-time person to Park City. If you're not traveling over the holidays, but most of the winter, they're giving $300 vouchers, and we're um, really, really honored that they picked us to actually represent them for that program. So if anybody starts booking this winter, please ask about the $300 flight voucher from Delta. We really have thought about everything. We're trying. I'm impressed. <laughs> Beautiful properties, also great experience. Thanks so much, Jim, for showcasing yeah. these. Thank you so much for having me. All right, check out Park City Rental Properties. If you need a great staycation in Park City, you want to go to Sedona, or you're from out of town and want to check out some beautiful properties and have a great trip here in Park City, you will not regret booking through them. We have much more coming up on this Business Wednesday right after this.